we used to say if that is possible then i will do that otherwise i will do the other one or again that is not working then i will have a third plan to work out i will execute the third plan otherwise i will execute the fourth plan otherwise i will execute the fifth plan so all our plan won't execute uh, simultaneously we will make sure that at least one of the one of our plans execute isn't it and the same way here if elif 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 any number of elif conditions you can add but the uh, condition is that only not condition only one statement only one option will execute if when you write if elif 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 etc so that is the speciality of elif understood only one thing will get executed that means the rest of the options will be discarded because the uh, either it is wrong or just before that uh, one statement got executed so it will discard the other statements below it so that is the speciality of if elif 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 etc if you want you can write else condition or you can skip else so let's see the question that i asked for the examination how to find the grade so write down <coughs> the program to find the grade the other things are understood that is you have to ask the user uh, uh, all the five subjects marks you have to uh, find the total you have to find the percentage then only you can find the grade isn't it aryan yes ma'am yeah. so let's see how to do that <coughs> so these are the conditions given if this is a different type of condition so not like your conditions so if it is greater than if the percentage is greater than 85 the student grade is a if it is greater than 72 less than or equal to 85 then b greater than 62 less than or equal to 70 as grade as c greater than 45 to less than or equal to 60 then the grade as d so how many conditions are there in manual <coughs> in manual Or. 1 2 3 4 so how many co conditions do you need to write uh, whether you need to write four conditions or you need to write five or six what do you think again question to me well no need to mute tell me the answer and can say is it okay to write four condition checking or five or six only whatever you want only four only four so it is compulsory to write four conditions the rest of the conditions if you want you can write okay okay so the first condition will be the first condition is written uh, you can see it on the screen if percentage greater than 85 then you need to write print a isn't it the grade is a directly you can write next on words your different condition starts 
So there are two options, there are two methods to write the conditions. See the first condition, how it is written? Elif, uh, look at the screen carefully. Elif, percentage greater than 70 and percentage less than or equal to 85. So that is the first uh, option, first method of writing. <clears throat> And you can see that this P-E-R-C, you need to write two times in this first method. Elif, percentage greater than 70 and percentage less than or equal to 85. Hope you understood. The meaning is that both the conditions should be If the percentage less than or equal to 85 should be true, percentage greater than 70 should be true. Only then this a particular condition a statement will get executed, isn't it? Isn't it, Muhammad Irfan? <coughs> What's the speciality of an AND, AND operator? AND operator is a binary operator. You have left side one operand, right side another operand. So the, the left side you can see an operand that is an expression that is percentage greater than 70. Is it true? The, it is a question. Percentage greater than 70? Yes. Uh, if percentage, we don't know uh, what is the percentage uh, uh, which is achieved by the student. So if percentage greater than 70. So it should be true. And what is the next condition? Percentage less than or equal to 85. These two conditions should give you a result as this one should be. Let me try to write it. Okay, so this should be true and this expression should be true. So true and true will give you a result true. So if the expression is true, that means this particular thing will get executed. It can be a single statement, can be two statements, three, four, etc. Any number of statements it can. So this should be true. This should be true. If any one of the condition is false, then this won't execute. We will go to the next step. Clear? Ma'am. Yes. I have a doubt, ma'am. <coughs> For alternative to this, uh, in that we should write percentage uh, is like less than or equal to 85 now. <coughs> no, no. See, now yes, less than or equal to 85. Yes, you need to write. See, this is first method to write. The second method is very simple method. That is, again, the simplicity of Python language. No other language support this uh, particular type of writing. You can't write in this way in any other language. Even C, C++, even the simple and strongest language, Java. You can't write this way. <clears throat> you need to write uh, in this way, in all other languages. But in Python, you can see it. Elif, 70, less than, percentage, less than 85. The meaning is that 70, less than, percentage, and percentage, less than 85. What is the meaning? You have to expand it in this way. 70, less than, percentage, and percentage less than 85. That is the expansion. The common thing you need to write, uh, write it in the center. The common variable name you need to write in the center. So what is the common variable name? Percentage. So you have to read it, just uh, note it down. You have to expand it in this way. 70 less than percentage and percentage less than 85. That statement you are writing in a simple statement that is 70 less than percentage less than or equal to <coughs> 85. <coughs> so 
the rest of the statements I haven't written, you need to write it. So first you copy down the question. 72 less than or equal to 85, 62 less than or equal to 70, 45 2 less than or equal to 60. Uh, it is D. And one else statement you need, to, you can write the, you can write the grade as E. One L statement you can add to your question, that is, or when you write program, you, may, you can write it as E failed less than, uh, less than 45. Gauri, any doubt? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, after LF, can we uh, draw a bracket there, like percentage greater than 70 there? Uh, percentage greater than 70, not required, actually. Do I need to write it? Do we have a bracket? No. The bracket is there only for uh, C++ program, C program. We don't have to write a bracket. If many uh, expression, many operators and operands are here, then if you want, you can write a bracket. Otherwise, no need because percentage greater than 70 will execute and uh, this condition will be checked and the result will be retrieved. Then this statement will execute and the result will be retrieved. Then only it will be checked with and. Okay. Now write down, complete the program. First few statements you have written already for your examination, isn't it? So no need to repeat it. Just start from uh, if condition. So I just want to know uh, whether you understood or not. So you have first condition as if, second condition as elif, third condition as another elif, then fourth condition as another elif, then finally you can write uh, else condition. That is great as E. Sharat, turn on your video, Sharat. Muhammad Yusman, are you there? Totally 36 students are there. Only 24 here. So finally, what will happen is after this all for the examination, students they will tell you, they will tell me, or they will tell the parents, we don't we don't know anything. So what is this if condition? Oh, 
we did not understand anything so that will be the next thing and also next year also the same if condition without if condition you can't write any programs in uh, python so it will very very much Uh, someone you can just uh, change your selfie to back camera and show me the result. Amal K. It's been a long time. Yes, ma'am. Uh, change your selfie mode to a back camera. My. Oh, yes, yours. For what? To show your answers, that the code that you have written. Ma'am, I didn't. You didn't write. Why? Then how come you have written the answer in your answer sheet? That's what I already told you, right? <laughs> I can't see the further. I, I just want to see the left side once again. Yes. Where is the if condition? Left, left. Yes. Okay. Elif, what is the condition you have written inside Elif? 7D and. <clears throat> Why you have written in the same line? After the condition, uh, uh, right, full colon. And someone else? Okay, that's okay. Um, uh, I can't uh, see properly. Someone else? We keep your book somewhere and show me. <clears throat> Ashish, Hana, Mekna. I just want to see the other conditions. That's all. Na dia. No one. Huh? That, that means either I should believe that you have written it properly or you haven't written anything. So what's your answer? What's your answer, Vithu? Very good. Elif, after that, next L, where is the condition? Just write L's condition also. S, grade S, E. The la last condition you need to write. If someone's grade is below 45, you need to write something else. You need to display some values. So you can write E.
and integration is very 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 important in the same way you need to write la percentage the same thing either you can write in this method or you can follow this method then you need to write grade c then this one grade d else condition here like this else statements we can have a statement as grade s e is it clear this program is clear to you navin but when you write in your answer sheet a confusion is there isn't it when you do it in a computer a confused and my question is one user entered by mistake some negative values so some negative percentage uh, the program got or the, it generated a negative percentage in perc variable so what will be the output evelyn <coughs> a negative value as percentage so what will be the output was the grade l statement huh? l statement uh, that is the grade will be displayed as e isn't it very good um one student um grade as sorry percentage is 100 then what is the output make now if the percentage is 100 full for all the subjects um can you tell me question one more uh huh i i uh, told not very clearly now why i why are you asking me again um, the so question so is yes yes my sir so network problem ma'am question so is a percentage is 100 for one student then what's the grade sorry what's the grade percentage is 100 what will be the output um it will be true it will be executed ah what will be the output what will be the grade of the student if the 100. percentage is 100 100 percent a a yeah ah yes A will be the grade of the student. Now, some other students' percentage is seventy. All be the grade. Dia, what will be the grade? Seventy. C. C. So in that way, the programs will get. next thing is a little bit a different statement that is called nested condition or that is nested or is a nest what is a nest huh? <clears throat> Where is Gauri? Gauri was smiling. Yes. What is the nest? Why it is called a nest? I don't know, ma'am. Nest? You don't know. I'm going to ask you about the software firm Nest. Have you heard about a software firm Nest? Nest Technologies. I'm not asking about that Nest. Now a normal Nest. bird nest bird ah uh, it is holding something right in that nest there will be can we can feel uh, we can see eggs or we can see birds 
the normally it's called something that so it's called has nest so here the same way and if condition inside another if condition so consider if condition as the nest inside that nest you can see another if condition inside that if you can see another if condition you can have any number of if conditions inside one if if inside if another if inside if another if then it is called nested if one if inside another if okay that is called as nested if The proper definition is this: It is possible to have a condition within another condition. Such conditions are known as nested condition. A condition, another, within another condition. Yes, Krishna children, feeling so happy. May I know the reason, Krishna children? Nothing. Simply smiling. Okay. Your mood swings, your face changes. I can see here. That's what. <laughs> now see this example, and. See this very carefully. If x equal to equal to y, this so is one simple if condition. Print x and y are equal. Some statement is written. Else, in inside else, what it is written? Hana. If x. Yes. Yeah. So, you can see this. You can see that this if condition and till this this many things these many things are written another in another else. So this is an example of nested if. And you will ask me, and uh, ma'am, you told uh, told us that a condition. Uh, sorry, if inside another. If. So it is not actually this. It can be if, or it can be else, or it can be in if. A condition inside another condition. Okay. A condition inside another condition. Now I understood why all are why are you smiling? Okay. <clears throat> One condition, one condition inside another condition. So you can see here one condition is there else. Else is an example of a condition. So inside that else, you have another condition. Okay. Else is a type of condition, isn't it? Not only if, if it's an example of condition, else is an example of condition. And inside else, you have Another set of condition. So this is an example of a nested condition. Is that clear? So there will be some programs where you need to write many if statement inside one if statement, many if statement. Yes. Ma'am, just now uh, in that slide you showed there were two else. Hmm. Is it okay? Yes, but one else is 
some other ifs else another else is some another if else uh, did you notice the indentation indentation is not same indentation is different you can have any number of if but um, can you show again that program that i did not explain to you that's why i, I didn't show you this this question or that this question you are asking me hello yes ma'am ah in this question this see the indentation see the indentation if else so this else is a part of this if okay uh, what about this else is a part of Whose if? Whose if Aditya Raj? Whose if? This if's part or this if's part? And second if. Second if. So you have to write uh, in proper indentation. That is the only method in Python to check your whose else's whose else's of whose if and all. If you write all these else together, your program is. completely wrong and you will get negative marks why negative marks two more question but all your in all indentation is wrong if else suppose you have written this suppose you have written this if x equal to y then this print statement here p else here this i if statement in this place this place this p in this place this else in this place this place everything in this place then this program will uh, it will be a it this happens when you try to copy from someone or you try to copy from some place the entire code so don't think that you can copy from some uh, somewhere then your program will be correct but it it won't be correct so you have to be very careful when you write your program even though your lines of codes are correct if the indentation is wrong means quarter 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 like that your marks will be reduced and finally sometimes last year they used to get negative marks not i don't know either about the board examination but uh, in normal half yearly examination uh, or your other examination definitely i will reduce your marks quarter marks because you should not make the mistake again that's why i am reducing otherwise you think that your program is perfect and you will face Uh, much problems when you do practical examination in front of the external examiner okay so any doubt on this if else if so i'll give you one question to do so write a program to check whether the entered character <coughs> write a program to check whether the entered character is a vowel or not vowel if it is not vowel vowel then it is called as a uh, consonant consonant isn't it so check whether uh, enter so you have to ask the user enter a character so if you have to enter a character uh, do we have to uh, do any cha uh, change in the integer float in bracket input and all no right do we have to write anything no directly you ask the input enter the 
character. Then you check. Okay, you can use any of the methods, but the answer should be correct. That's all for today. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.